way this the story was about, you know, this whole mental reality and basically how this girl was condemned to her room of four walls because she couldn't cope or society couldn't cope with the free spirit that she was. And I guess there's a bit of Edie Sedgwick in there too. <laughs> short story that uh, it was just it was required reading for for me in uh, elementary school it's just a, like a 12 page story of a little girl that like uh, was in this room but you didn't she was in a room but you, she had this vivid imagination and all these things that she saw like it was just so ornately de descriptive and then finally you find out that she was just looking at the same patterned yellow wallpaper at the very end and it was she was just out of her mind. So it was a real creepy kind of tale. I was inspired by the story of Francis because of the fact that, you know, you have these concepts of madness. What is man? What is reality? What is the truth? What is existence? Like, you know, what's good and what's bad? Positive and negative roles that are placed on women in society and this whole idea that, you know, Francis was crazy because she was outspoken and slept around. She was a very intelligent girl. And then she became an actress and basically was committed by her mother because her mother thought she was crazy because her behavior was so uncommon in that era. Hi, my name's Sue Stemp. Um, I'm a New York based designer and I've had my own label for about four years now. A lot of my design work is very print and textile based. Um, I've always sort of designed my own prints and collaborated with other textile and print artists on my work. The fabric that's highlighted for my full collection in this film, I um, collaborated with D.M. Chuck, who's um, a well-known artist and graphic designer. We came up with this, this digitally printed on silk kaleidoscopic image, which I think is gorgeous. It originally came from sort of like photographs of crystals and rock formations and trees, and it's all sort of yeah, very deep in color and texture. One of the reasons we chose this building space is because of the collaboration of artists that make this building work. My name is Andrew Poneros. Um, I also go by Pork, which is my graffiti name. Daphne, Daphne, Daphne Park. My name is Mark Wiener. Mark Wiener. It's a really unusual group of people. We all bring something different creatively, and we all kind of come from opposite ends of the spectrum. It's kind of like a contemporary communion, but not really. In the bright black, it weaves a web of pearls, the polished teeth of the righteous, each an entity in its own, yet a reflection of all the others. Traditionally, XXX stands for pornography. If you put an X in front of XXX, that means anti-exploitation. That's a cute shot. It's made of a 24 karat gold chain. And it's by Aaron Young. I think it's around uh, 18,000 dollars. It was a part of the Cumulus show that she asked contemporary artists to create outdoor furniture. This is my absolute favorite. X stands for kisses. Kiss me over and over again. Okay, let's try that. It was so kind of poetic to see a gorgeous model posing in front of my tub full of serpents. The mixing of fashion and art. Everything is about everything these days, and everything is crossing at all times. I think everything needs to work together. If you Google XXXX, 
what you're going to find is it's a code for something else. It means anything that you want it to mean. XXXX stands for fill in the blank. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the first issue of XXXX magazine. The whole concept of mixing art and fashion and multimedia and, and putting it all together is going to be very interesting, very exciting. X is to multiply. And when you multiply it over and over again, you actually have an exponential amount of results. Okay, walk in. It's kisses, kisses, it's kisses, it's anti exploitation, it's multimedia, multimedia. it's multiplying over and over, again. Over, and over again in mathematical quantities. The concept of creativity is overwhelming ideas that just want to explode. Yes, yes.